Hello. So I've been noticing there's a lot of differences between console and PC Dead by Daylight. I don't think console will ever be equal to PC. I don't think they'll both be able to have the same features and be able to accomplish the same things quality wise, just because PCs are so, I don't know, high tech, reliable, I, I don't know. You know what I mean. But there are absolutely some things that we can do to help. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. Here's four things that you can do to try to improve the quality of your game on console. Number one, one of the most important aspects of this game is sensitivity, especially on console. In most games, you want to start low and work your way up to as high as possible. But most games aren't like Dead by Daylight. The thing about Dead by Daylight is that there are certain techniques and certain moves and maneuvers that you need to do with a certain sensitivity. Now, of course, you don't have to. There are other ways to do everything that I'm about to describe. But to make it as easy as possible, you need to have a decently low sensitivity. So for example, if you're going to try to do a 360, your sensitivity needs to be pretty low. It can't be too low, otherwise you won't be able to pull that off. And it can't be too high, otherwise you'll end up going so fast that you're not even actually moving. Now I have a whole video that goes much deeper into this topic. So if you want to take a look at that video, you absolutely can. It will be linked in the description. But in general, you do want to keep your sensitivity pretty low. Obviously, it's all preference, but if you want the sensitivity that's going to give you the best possible advantage, I would definitely recommend 55 sensitivity. I've played this game long enough that I've tried pretty much every sensitivity, and in general, I would say the best one is 55. When you turn, it moves so perfectly with your character. But again, it's preference, and if you're going to do anything else, I would recommend staying in the 55 to 80 or 85 range. I remember having a lot of success with 75 as well, but that's your choice. Number two. Graphics. Now, if you might have noticed, if you ever watch any content creators that play on PC, you might notice how bright their games are. Their games look really, really good. That's because they have other options being on PC to brighten their game up. Unfortunately for console players, the game is just really dark. But there is one thing you can do to help. I have a whole video talking about this. I really, really recommend watching this video. I think it's a pretty good video. It dives very deep into the colorblind settings to increase the brightness and the graphics as much as possible on console. But unfortunately, there's really not much you can do to increase your graphics or brightness yet. Number three, keybinds or controls. This one is very important. You might have noticed other people doing this. You've probably done this yourself. You go to do something, vault a window, and you press the button and you jump into a locker. Or you go to heal someone that's on a pallet and you accidentally throw down a pallet. Or you go to throw down a pallet and you end up cleansing a totem. It's frustrating. Now why is this? This is because if you take a look at your input binding settings, you may notice that some of your buttons are the same. You might have two different boxes that are checked with the same button. This is bad. Don't do this. Whatever you do, make sure each box is a different button except wiggling. It doesn't matter what those buttons are, it's completely preference. You can take a look at mine, you can copy mine if you want. Number four, the last thing is FPS or just performance in general. Again, because it's console, there's not a lot you can actually do, but just for some helpful tips, when you're playing Dead by Daylight, make sure you don't have anything downloading in the background. And just when you're playing Xbox in general, it really helps to not have something installing or updating in the background. And this goes for PlayStation as well. That, unfortunately, is pretty much the only thing you can do to increase your performance, other than some more extreme methods like just picking up a better internet I don't know, like modem or router or changing your internet service provider or literally moving somewhere that has better internet. But that is so extreme and I'm not going to recommend that you do that. Actually, yes, I am. You should do that. Move houses. I want you to move to a different state if you have to, to get better internet so you can play Dead by Daylight. And with that being said, I think I'm going to leave it on that note. But before I go, there's one thing that I need to tell you. If you click the like button and you subscribe, I will give you the biggest, warmest hug you've ever felt in your life, okay? If you don't, I will come to your house in the dead of the night. You know what? Never mind. Just like and subscribe. If you have anything else you want to add, comment. Have a good life. Goodbye. Forever. <laughs>